A while back I saw a jig, and I've seen this jig over the number of years, but it's really handy around a table saw and it'll give you a lot of really cool features and the jig is not hard to build. So I thought maybe today we should go ahead and build one and just see how, uh, well, we'll see how well it comes out. But also I'll talk about everything from rabbit joints to uh, straightening out a piece of crooked, crooked piece of lumber or even making templates and cutting them really quickly off the jig. It sounds pretty cool and it works with a table saw. So I thought today, being Hacker Monday, we will hack the jig and we'll see if we can make one now. So the first thing we're gonna need that they tell me is to go out and find some scrap wood. Got lots of it. <laughs> I've got a lot of plywood, so lucky lucky me. Uh, the, the show that I watched, the very last show I checked on for this particular build was uh, Stumpy Nubs. He built, he has one of these, it, it shows up on his show in the background sometimes, but it shows up quite a bit and obviously is a very good jig. But he never, uh, I checked, I couldn't find it. He never mentioned how thick. So we're going with three quarter inch plywood. This is a scrap piece of three quarter uh, from my barn. It looks like it's in not too bad a shape. I think we need, uh, what we need out of it. And so we're gonna cut this down. And I'm gonna cut uh, 24 inches long for the, to go on the fence here. I never even checked that. But, man, that's big. I don't think you needed that, but eh, whatever. And I'm going to cut three pieces, uh, a three inch, a three and a half inch, and then this last piece has been, it, it seems to vary with the crowd. So uh, Stumpy's was the one I really liked, but his was 10 inches tall, and I kept looking at it and thinking, I don't think it needs to be 10 inches. So you could probably go seven and a half, something like that. So we'll cut three pieces, and then we'll come back. So this is the three pieces that we cut so far. Uh, by the way, I cut the length down a little bit. I'm going to go with 22 inch for this jig. Uh, Stumpy's uh, was a 24 inch. I don't seem to need that kind of length, so I'm gonna go 24 on these pieces. Also, the other reason was this is reclaimed lumber, and to get the goody, you know, out of the uh, plywood, I had to get a little, you know, I had to go a little further than 24 inch. I had to take it down a little more just to, get away from anything that looked bad on this plywood because this plywood is very old but you know, like I say it's reclaimed so I'm trying to reuse it repurpose it the next piece now that we have the three inch the three inch the three and a half and this is it uh, this one here I made eight inches just keeping everybody on track so it's eight by 22 and it's a three quarter inch piece of plywood all of them I cut myself some one inch blocking because unlike stumpy nubs who has money for stuff like uh, one inch blocks. I don't have any, I don't think I have any, so I made some, made some wooden blocks. That way we can set this up and uh, go ahead and start gluing and stapling these pieces together. So the first thing we're gonna do is put these uh, one inch blocks up against our plywood and take the three and a half inch and we'll put some glue on it. <clears throat> Be a good start too. And uh, we'll use our favorite glue. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, lots of glue, lots of glue. Even smear it a little bit. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna pin this, but I'm also going to uh, put a clamp on this just for a little bit while we uh, pin it into place. So there's our connection right about there. I'm gonna put a pin in it right about there. Yep, and maybe one about here. Yep, and about there. Yeah, it's quite a nice little setup though. It's a heck of a rig. Now, I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll put the front on. Okay, so we've made a nice mess here. Yeah, yeah a little too much glue, I guess, but yeah, it is what it is. 
All right, now let's get this. Let's see if we can't make this pretty too. All right, this is all over my saw now. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, now I'll bring this over here. And again, we'll just put some pins in it. See if we can't get that right. Cause yeah, it shouldn't have been that hard, but. <clears throat> Yeah. You always make sure the pin gun is uh, <clears throat> in the right spot when you do this. Okay. I don't think we need any clamps, to tell you the truth. I mean, it looks good, other than wipe off my saw with glue. And this glue here, I'll let that just go the way it is. But there's basically the build, build right there, but we're going to put some pieces in here yet. So we're going to quickly measure up, and I'm going to put something in there. So we'll just make that up. And that will be right back. So now we're going to make the gusset pieces, which I need three and a half inch because that's what our inside dimension is there. So we're going to take three and a half out of this and then make some pieces. So, and away we go. And let's see, can I use this? Yes, I can. Alrighty. Way. All right, how are we looking? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're recording. Good. So the next, uh, we cut this in three and a half. Now I'm gonna, I need some five inch pieces, but the wood is really nasty. So I'm going to uh, uh, clean this up a little bit by just trimming, trimming this, uh, the bad end off a little bit. Cause we got lots of material to work with cause we got scrap. So let's see. We'll just take that off. Then we're going to uh, measure five inches. I think sounds like a good program to me. Then we'll go five inches, and we'll cut that off. That way, we've got lots of material to work with. Get that out of there. All right, there's about five inches right there. Beautiful. There we go. So. so I can now have two five inch by three and a half inch blocks and we're going to pre these things up a little bit. Yep, look at that. Beautiful. Yep. Not bad, not bad. Not exactly perfect, but I don't care. And I'm going to take a little 45 across the front here just to because I saw that and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we cut a couple of these and I actually uh, don't have the glue here because I'm an idiot. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we cut a couple of these, uh, just some basic, you know, pieces that'll fit in like this. And this is to help square everything up and hold it together really nice and tight. But I'm also gonna throw a little glue on there and uh, Open the glue bottle. Mm. And uh, just a couple of, in, about three inches in from each end, they say is pretty good. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll put some glue there, and a little glue there, and a little glue there. And I'm just going to measure in, uh, well, I will say three or four. Let's go four inches in there and just say that's, that's where they go. Man, that's a mess, isn't it? I just got glue all over everything. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah. And this is just to sort of stabilize the whole rig, I guess, a little bit, but yeah. So there we go. And I might have to check the level and everything on this just yet. So I think I'll put one pin in, and then I'm going to get a square on that thing. And a towel for all the glue. This is just a jig, so it shouldn't be, shouldn't matter. But okay, there we go. There, good. All right, so now we're. Yeah, right there is where we want to be held. That's good. So we'll get a, a pin in that. Yeah. And really that should that should be all we need. Let's make sure I got that right. Oh yeah. Yep, looking good. One more one more pin at the bottom wouldn't hurt. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is awkward trying to do this. And uh yeah. Do it all at the same time. So the pin should go in right about there. 
Beautiful. All right. Now, that should be it. Yep, it's perfect. Well, of course it is. I mean, you know. So, uh, this should all take 15 minutes. Uh, some, somebody said that. And, uh, yeah, they haven't they haven't worked at my shop at all or worked around my tools. So, yeah, <laughs> I can tell you right now, it takes a lot. Takes you 15 minutes just to find the coffee pot around here. Anyways, we'll go, we'll do the other side the same, about four inches in, and get some pins, get some glue on it. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, and a little bit in the front here. Yeah, my favorite glue. And again, about four inches in from the end. So let's see what we got. And before, right about there. Yeah, it looks good. I'm not too worried about this, but now I'm going to get one pin in. And that way. Wow. Yep. And let me sort of line that up a little bit so it's straighter. Good. And pin there. Pin about there. Yeah, okay. Yep. And guys, we're we're done the we're done the hard part. Yeah, yeah. Building the jig. <laughs> now we now we can do something. <laughs> uh should have brought some clamps. I think we'll just clamp this whole thing up with the glue for a minute. Just let it sit. But it's going to sit like this. Okay, the blade's going to have to go down a bunch. There we go. So at least the blade's out of the way. And this will clamp to the fence. Unlock the fence. And bring the fence over here like this. Yeah. Now, the thing is, and again, he didn't mention it, but it would be a really good idea, it would be a really good idea to line this up with this here check this to here and just make sure everything is square before you use this jig otherwise this jig could become the end of it could become the biggest headache you've ever had in no time so uh, just something i'm you know putting the warning out okay so to uh just satisfy myself and everybody else too uh what i did was i took the top measurement here and cut back 45 just so that you know, I measured across here so that these blocks would go in here, but the 45 is a whatever it is cut, and you see it comes across and just finishes out up here with wherever, because these are just some gussets that help, you know, hold this whole thing strong and hold it together so that when you're using it, you know, it's really well, it's held well. Now, to put this in place, the other thing we got to watch out for is these lovely uh, pits, if you want to call them that, and this one is right just so happens to land right where my blade is to right over top of it. So this whole thing falls in there, which uh, is kind of sad. And this is one of the reasons why somebody showing you something like this on YouTube may not work on your saw or the dimensions might be different. And that's a lot of times, that's why a lot of people don't give out dimensions and stuff because you can get into problems. This one is just off the edge enough that I guess we'll stay out of trouble. But you put your clamps in here. Uh, I'll have to check the camera and see, uh, see if you guys can see this because I'm not sure what we've got on the camera right now. So I'll just put the clamps on and then I'll just check. Just so you know what I did here. The, I squared this so the, this surface is exactly the same as this right here. I put a square up against this. I also check this here and here to make sure it's all dead straight. Now we can run something through with our little saw set up here. It's gonna be pretty cool. You'll see. Uh, this particular setup, what it's for is a board like this where it's it's all uneven on this side and I just need to clean this edge up but I don't wanna you know, lose a lot of the dimension of the board. So what I can do in this case, I can just take a, a piece like this that'll be my straight edge. You really should have a thicker board than this. Uh, yeah, just a second here, let's find something else. I sort of don't like that one. Yeah. A real personal problem or something, but that's a little wider. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to just pin this in here, end to end. So we'll put a, just a pin on it. And we'll put a pin on the other end. Okay, now I can run that through there, and that'll take all the nasty on this side out of that board. Just like this. Now 
now that board is nice and straight and cleaned off and there's no more junk on this side. Huh? You like it? Yeah. I like it. Okay, the purpose of the show today was really just to show you how easy it is to make one of those and give you some dimensions that you can work with, that you can think out and go, okay, this is how I'm going to build mine. It's, it's a really handy item, especially anything from, uh, like I said, straightening out a piece of board where you want to just run something through that's, you know, if it's uh, got a wave on the end of it, you can take it out easily. Straighten some old boards. Uh, also, rabbit joints. There's a lot of different applications with that particular jig. It's just, it's just the go-to jig for a lot of things around the uh, table saw. So, uh, the purpose today was just to give you the confidence to go ahead and make one. It's really not about the projects that you could do with it. It's the idea of just help you out a little bit. Just because the other shows that I did look at, uh, they just glossed over a lot of the information and they really didn't, you know, give you the details. So I thought, let's build one. I mean, let's take our time give the dimensions, build the darn thing, and then take a look at, you know, the, some of the uses. And that's a good little jig. And in fact, I will be hanging that on the back side of my uh, table saw so I can pull it out anytime I want to use it. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe. And uh, Thursday, we have a, Thursday, I think, or Friday, it might be Friday. We have a big draw coming up on Friday for five of the table saw Fence clamps. Yeah. Five of the table saw fence clamps. Cool. And in the meantime, uh, take a look at that thing and see what you guys think. And it's a hundred and whatever it is in here today. Hey, over and out. <laughs>